Hello, my name is Skins Over Birds, and welcome to my Colts franchise. I'm excited to do this uh, Colts franchise because I've never done the Colts before, and also their team needs a lot of help in the rebuilding stage because they have a lot of veterans on defense, and they're just really old. So first off, I decided to create an owner called none other than Peyton Manning, and he'll be back in Indianapolis. That's how he'll be back. He'll be overtake Jerry Mersey. So the first thing I wanted to do is fire Chuck Pagano because I thought he's been a little bit overrated as of late, and I thought maybe picking up a new coach might have been the best idea. So I ended up uh, hiring Thomas Pitta to replace him for at least this year and maybe next year, depending on how well this team does. You know, Peyton Manning, you can give a little patience because remember Peyton Manning's rookie year, he threw a lot of interceptions. But here are the injuries. We got Hugh Thorne, Clayton Gathers, who's a big one. Um, and he is out for six, uh, eight weeks. And I put him on IR, but I might actually take him off the IR. I don't know why I actually put him on IR, but I did this. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. But, you know, he's on IR for now. And, you know, I mean, I just placed mostly a lot of these players on IR. But the biggest losses is Clayton Gathers, who is a young safety and uh, I think it was in, in Uhort, our left guard, who's actually pretty solid as well, as well as Kendall Langford. He's out for the year as well. So, you know, we got a lot of injuries, but no one too major. Like I said, those two, Muhort and Gathers, kind of sucks. But, yeah. Moving on, you know, I was wondering the state of this team what depth we could use after all these injuries. But the first thing, well, the second thing I guess I wanted to do, would, uh, what was to move diff uh, move positions around. The first thing I wanted to do was move Akeem Ayers to the middle. And that's because he has the best zone coverage on the team, just by only having 79 speed. But there's, there's really no one else on this team, linebacker-wise, that has good zone coverage. And we're probably going to be running, like, somewhat of an attacking 3-4. So we'll probably have the outside linebackers blitz a lot. And we'll have the middle linebackers play a lot of coverage or have Dekeel Jackson blitz as well. Because Dekeel Jackson has terrible zone. I think the last time I checked, he had 59 zone coverage. Is that 59? Yeah, I think it is. And really no one else, you know, Edwin Jackson, he ain't doing anything. The next one I wanted to move was Trent Cole from the right outside linebacker position to the right end. Because just to have, like, more, you know, better players playing at, you know, positions they've actually played at. You know, Trent Cole has played right end, or left end, for most of his career in Philly, so. I mean, he's basically blitzed on almost every single play, so I don't know why uh, him and, you know, uh, Mathis, Mathis both play on the right. But we'll have Duke Williams be our starting sh uh, free safety for Gethers as of now. And we'll see how that impacts things. So here we are in free agency. We ended up signing a depth receiver in Kevin Smith out of Washington. And I also signed Chris Thompson in free agency, though I didn't put it in the video for some reason. We also signed Ben, a. ben Whitaker to a one-year deal to have some secondary depth. And that was all the signings I made besides signing two players off the practice squad. Here's the depth chart. We got Andrew Luck starting. We have Frank Gore. And by the way, uh, Chris Thompson will probably be our third down back. And our sh uh, he'll get a lot of shotgun snaps as well and a lot of tosses to the outside. He's definitely going to be implemented into my offense. He's a very quick and agile player, so something that we don't have a lot of at the running back position until we signed him. And I uh, had to move Trent Cole to right end. Why I didn't do that? But I had to uh, readjust those. So we have Eric Walden playing at the left, Dakeel Jackson and uh, Ayers in the middle, Mathis on the right, and so on, so on. We all, we'll have Davis be our and Vontae Davis is probably going to be the standout on defense. Hopefully, he can lock up for return duties. We're going to have Dorsett and Todman, and Chris Thompson will be the backup for kick returning, and Todman will be the backup for punt returning. Uh, yeah, there's a first look at the depth chart as of now. 
And you see that little glitch there. They benched all my quarterbacks. It's like they did not want me to play the first game. Like, look at that. It's like they wanted me to start uh, Pat McAfee or something. Even though he might have a better arm than a few other quarterbacks like Brock Osweiler. But still, you know, I guess I won't be too little carried away. That's basically it. So I'll see you guys for week one. I don't think I did anything else. And, yeah, we play against the Lions week one. It'll be an interesting battle. Hopefully our defense doesn't give up too many points, but I have a feeling it will. And I think we can make the playoffs, especially in our division. But you just never know. So see you guys for week one.